All right, guys, what's up? We have a Bakugan Armored Alliance Legendary Battles opening. I guess this was a re-release or a reissue only at Target. This is obviously from an older set, but uh, it just recently became available as of the release date of this video, uh, which is uh, July 4th of 2021, when this has been uh, restocked at Target. So that's kind of cool to see. Uh, take a look at the back. Again, I'm really excited about this because we have the Pegatrix Gillator, which went hand in hand with, lo and behold, my Deca. So now I have both of them. Now, basically, uh, you can play with this one, obviously. Uh, but again, this is a wonderful thing to have. So I'm excited to check this out for sure. It has a slightly different color scheme on it. Uh, and they both look really great. Uh, this is a Howlcore Ramparian, so he has the like kind of triple heads and kind of a dragonish body, I guess. All right, well, let's take a look. Let's see what we get inside here. Man, this is fantastic for sure. Uh, we quickly grab some cores. There's a card right here. I'll just show you these guys really quick. Uh, we got, let's see here, orange shield 500. Only if you're fused. You got a helix. Again, if you're fused, only you get 300. Uh, B and two frost strikes. We got two green fists. One is a plus one damage. One is a plus 50 B and two damage. And that's it. All right, cool. Let's take a look at the cards themselves as well. All right. Now this is going to be really nice too because I don't have very many of the uh, fusion Bakugan and uh, the cards especially look really good in addition to the uh, the toys themselves. So uh, I guess I'll come close for this really quick right before we take a look at the actual toys. All right. So well, let's just jump to this side here. Halco Ramparian. So this is the regular card version. The Helix, the Green Fist, six damage. So it starts off with only 500 B. Cool thing is, when you're able to, you can spend four energy if you want, and then fuse the two of them together, and you get this. Boom. This isn't too bad. 800, but you get 10 damage. This could very possibly be playable, and this is Darkest Auralis. Wow. That's not too, too shabby. Now here's a Pegatrix and Gillator. I'm excited about this one. Oh, this one is clean, actually. I wonder if this is playable tournament-wise. I mean, you know, or competitive. I'd still think this would be a worth a shot because you have fusing on a shield, an energy shield, or excuse me, an orange shield or a green fist. So you don't even have to pay for this. So on your first turn, you can basically roll onto one of these cores and then... Fuse it up. Yeah, this isn't too shabby. I mean, this kind of starts off as like the norm now, right? You want to have about 800 power to be competitive. So technically, as long as you get this on the first turn, this is pretty good. I mean, you know, the uh, orange shield and green fist aren't the most popular. Three damage. But hey, I mean, this gives you access to both Chaos and Auralis. So maybe if you're building this kind of uh, team deck or you want to splash this in, you get both of them. You can actually have like four. This might be really cool and worth playing. Ooh, ooh, I'm excited. I am excited. I definitely want to build Chaos. So now I could probably even splash in Auralis. Now look at this foil. This is incredible, man. This is almost worth it just for the cards. Jeez, six energy, but 1300 B. Oh, and this is a really nice equipment. Darkest Destroyers. This is only two, very efficient. Now it gives you Shadow Strike, so you won't even have to have um, your worry about your battle power being lowered. And you get an increase. Wow, a, a BP and damage. I'm all for this. Oh, what's this? Baku Spring. Another Darkest card here. One energy. It gives you Shadow Strike. And you can draw a card. This is not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Oh, one more. I got these, I think. Chaos Slashers. Four. Frost Strike. And 400. Hmm. Not too bad. Well, this is all in all has been really great. I think this is some stuff that's fun to play for sure. All right, let's start with my favorite right here. Got the Pegatrix Gillator. And man, this is looking so fancy. It has that shinier gold application from Orlis. Nice silver details back here. I mean, this looks lovely as ever. I like the gold details on the horn right up there. And of course, you have the... Uh, the wings, I think. Uh, let me see. Actually, I should... Oh, you know what? They're not even fully folded out. So let's even, let's even do this. Let's take a look at the transformation. Actually, let's go here. 
Yeah, oh my goodness, look at that. Hold on, let me bring it back up and then we're gonna take a look at that, wow. The wings go up just like the um, the Deca. So that is awesome and you can really see that gold. This is, man, if you guys, again, like Micro Transformers as an adult collector, you guys gotta just get Bakugan, man. And hopefully pretty soon you'll probably be playing the game every now and then, but I mean, just to have some of these on display and have a collection is just totally worth it. Even the aquamarine kind of goldish, or excuse me, bluish green down there. Okay, so let's look at the transformation. So obviously we're gonna fold this back. Oh yeah, and let me see one more thing. I don't notice, yeah, there's no additional transformations. It all is just gonna pop out. So let's fold the legs back. Looks like the head goes up. And then I think, yeah, once that's done, we just pretty much use the wings to lock it into place. Okay, cool, I'll do the transformation that right after. Let's take a look at this guy here too. Let me make sure he's fully transformed. Okay, he is. Uh, as far as the um, automated action goes, bring him back up here. Um, yeah, he has this really cool armor again too, the three heads, um, looks really crazy. Uh, and again, yeah, the, got the feet right there, the tail. So yeah, this looks really good. Um, I think that the uh, transformation is gonna be even easier, it looks like. We probably want to put the head in first. Yeah, okay, the two heads go on top, and then the feet and the third head go on the bottom. But I think, uh, let's see here. Hmm, these legs don't want to press in right. Oh, I know why. Hold on. I know why. Because you want to put the bottom legs in first, followed by the back legs. The head, this head, and then you lock it all in. There you go. And just even as the ball form, this looks super. Let's do two quick transformation drops. Bam. And the other thing that's really cool is they both come since they're Armored Alliance. Now we'll take a look really quick at the armor. Okay. So this guy has ports on both sides. And dude, look at that. You can attack those darkest uh, slashers like from the card right there bam that looks really clean look at that and then over here with pegatrix looks like yeah cool super cool under the wings i hope they release some large ones or something i gotta look into this because this also has the slots but they didn't have any um cannon blasters for this i know obviously you can interchange a deck of the uh, deca bakugan so hopefully there's one out there that has it but yeah this is great all right guys there you go you are into again little transformers fantasy creatures and that kind of stuff anime it's like just pick some of these up you know these are gonna look awesome they're fun to transform you quickly just roll them into balls then you can just drop them over on here try rolling them and stuff like that but Again, these things are really nice to look at, so go ahead and find out which ones are your favorites. Take a look at them if you're new to Bakugan, and again, you can always check out some episodes of the anime and the game, and go from there. All right, guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Captain Gamesa and the Super Fun Force will be coming back at you. Peace. Oh, and don't forget, always say a prayer, stay thankful, stay blessed.